All right, let's get it, 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 let's get it. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else here. Taking a kind of a trip down memory lane just a year ago. We used, not, yeah, just actually a little bit over a year and a half ago when I was a, when I was a teacher at Kinder Care out here in Royal Palm Beach. We used to take the kids to this very park every Wednesday. We had them playing over there on the, uh, playing, playing over there in the water we had the park over there doing a lot of cool things man you know it, it's always interesting especially when you come to parks like this the the nostalgia it brings when you've when you've been a part of it for a while so it's pretty cool to to be back i'm here for a 5k it's the imagine morning morning imagination library 5k that i was telling you about yesterday so since i already registered they're getting ready to start a stretch and all that so i figured hey let's let's get this recording in now you know efficiency efficiency making sure we are efficient in terms of our time in terms of just sitting around waiting and all that kind of stuff make sure we're efficient make sure we're doing something productive while we are waiting for other folks if you're an early riser and you guys are you know how i get down that's a lesson that's a lesson before i even get to the move swiftly thought today all right so as far as today's move swiftly thought let me tell you yeah the, the main thing that we got to take away from today's News 50 Thought is the ability to make split decisions, all right? The ability to make split decisions. Let me just tell you, the individual who told me about this 5K, she works as a gardener. She's a gardener by trade. She actually has a book. I can't, the title is slipping my mind right now, but she has a whole book on organic gardening and she knows all about nutrition, speaks on what she knows. I mean, that's something she, she tells me all the time is that she speaks on what she knows. And I remember I was talking to her after I got dehydrated last month at, I was talking to her after I got dehydrated last month with the marathon. That, <clears throat> again, if you keep up with my work, you already know what I'm talking about, right? So... <laughs> I had a, I did a, we did a FaceTime call and I was asking her about what are the best things that I need to be eating in regards to my hydration because, you know, I'm on my comeback tour. I'm on my, you know, time to get back to us, time to, for me to get back and all that stuff. And she goes, the best thing to eat would be cucumbers, cucumbers, not pickles, but cucumbers, you know, grown from the ground because they'll give you the best hydration. Real, got real scientific on me, but, you know, I took her word for it. And in fact, I actually fact checked her. And I looked up the best foods to eat, you know, to for the best hydration and all that kind of stuff. And there you have it. Cucumbers was right there, number one on the list. So I, I remember messaging her. I was like, you know, I respect that. I respect that. You got, yeah, you know, your shit, you know, your shit. I'm going to be listening to you a little bit more often now, right? So yesterday I went to the fresh market and went to the fresh market to get me a meal. And, you know, whenever I go there, I love their, I love their mozzarella pasta. I just love it. I've had that mozzarella pasta once and I'm hooked. All right. I don't go two weeks without having some of their mozzarella pasta. That shit is on point. I usually get a, <clears throat> some chicken, usually get the mixed veggies. And then the third thing I can get is either, you know, pie. we have our option when it comes to the sides that we get when it comes to the chicken and all that. So the mozzarella pasta was available. It was available. And just as I'm just as I'm about to go and tell the guy to put some mozzarella pasta on my plate, I see a fresh batch of cucumbers, you know, cooked, not cooked cucumbers, but they have cucumbers with onions. They've been seasoned up and it got a nice little bit of oil in it and all that. And as I'm seeing it, I'm like, ah. <laughs> I love my mozzarella pasta, but I know, I know in my heart, I got to be here tomorrow, the next morning for a 5K and I got to be hydrated. It's my first race since, you know, the marathon. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make the split second decision. I'll make the sacrifice. I'll make the sacrifice to put some cucumbers in me, put an extra batch of cucumbers in me. And that's what I did. And this is the kind, these are the kinds of things that I'm imparting and I'm, <clears throat> I'm making sure I emphasize to you guys is that, look, Number one, number one, you got to have the right people in your life. Number one, you got to have the right minds, the right minds to put you on the right track. Like if it wasn't for this mother who or the, the, the lady who told me all about cucumbers and, you know, about how it's important to, to eat those in terms of hydration. Again, I wouldn't have even known. I wouldn't have even known how <clears throat> how beneficial the cucumbers would have been for me. Also, next point, the next point is you have to have the ability, again, because she's not there, you know, she wasn't there making sure I eat the right thing. You have to have the ability and the self-discipline to say, look, as much as I love that mozzarella pasta, as much as I love that, 
you know, the feel of, of alcohol, as much as I love the weed or much as I love the things that I know are not necessarily going to be great for me or whatever the substance may be for you, you know, <clears throat> whatever that is, I got to have to be able to make that split second decision. Say, look, I got something in the morning. I can't handle I can't, I, I can't do that right now because I got something that I want to accomplish in the morning. All right. Like I said, <clears throat> very, very, very key that you, again, make sure. In fact, let me, I'll give you an action step today. Today, make sure you just do something, do something, do something to find, like think of something that you really want to do. Think of something that you really want to do. Go research, right? Nowadays, we have the ability to research. Go research an expert. Go research someone who is an expert in that field. Reach out to them, get some advice, get some free counsel, and see if you can apply the information that they've given you, all right? I'm not asking you to spend any money. I'm just asking you to go and apply something that an expert at a certain field has told you to do and see how things can possibly change for you. <clears throat> see how the discipline and the, the ways in which your life can change just in that moment all right it was a very it was a very cool moment for me because i actually remember telling the guy who was who was putting the cucumbers in the plate i was like hey, man i love that pasta but i know i got a 5k race and then we ended up having a conversation about you know, how you hydrating and all that good stuff all right main website to check out to dive deeper into my work make yamove.com that's m-a-k-e-y-a-m-o-v-e.com one stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs as one crook shank your one and only move swiftly speaker checking out you guys continue to move swiftly we will talk more soon